Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jake at Lexus of Cool Springs. Today is part three of the model builds for the 2022 Lexus NX. Um, I've already done the video for the NX250, that was part one, the NX350, which included the F Sport package, that was part two. And now we're on to the NX350 hybrid. This is part three. And obviously, part four would be the NX 450H Plus. So, uh, what I'm going to do, if you didn't know already, I'm going to basically take the training that Lexus has given me for product knowledge and just show you exactly what I received so that you can see how these vehicles are going to be built, um, the things that are compatible, not compatible, which trim levels have what features. So, I hope this is informative for you. It's going to be a lot of information, it's going to be very detailed. So, it may not be the video for you, but I, I do hope that if you are interested in those things, that this will be a great video for you. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that I can get you the more information on the next video and any other information I get about the Lexus NX. All right, let's jump in. All right, here we go. This is the standard features on the NX 350H. So I always wanna start with the standard features because that way we can see what we're building on when we get to premium and luxury. Okay, 2.5 liter inline four cylinder engine with the Lexus hybrid drive. We already knew that, that's why it's an H. Um, it's got the 239 horsepower. So that's a little less than the turbocharged one, um, but definitely I think it's more than, yeah. Hold on, let me check my notes. Yeah, more than the NX 250. Okay, it goes zero to 60 in 7.2 seconds. That is not as fast as the turbocharged engine, but definitely faster than the 2.5 liter, uh, 2.4 liter four cylinder. Okay, that'd be the 250. All right, electronically controlled variable, electronic, electronically controlled continuously variable transmission, CVT, which comes in all of our hybrid vehicles. We also have the all wheel drive system, E four wheel all wheel drive system. Still has the drive mode selects, eco, normal, and sport. It does have EV drive mode, which has been on our hybrids for a long time. Coming down here, we've got suspension, we've got brakes, and we do have up to 2,000 pound towing capacity. In the exterior, it's going to look the same as the others, the 250 and the 350. Um, the new grille is going to be that U-shaped block pattern, which kind of, in my opinion, looks like chainmail that uh, the Knights of Shining Armor used to wear. We also have the bi LED headlamps. We've got in the 18 inch 15 spoke alloy wheels with dark gray and machine finish. I'll show you what those look like on my next page, but that's gonna be your standard wheel. Also, uh, we've got the digital latch electrically, electronically actuated door handles with mechanical emergency release and safe exit assist. So if you haven't heard already, the door handles on the, on the NX are not gonna actually open. They're actually gonna be a button in there to release the door itself so it'll actually pop open um, and now the safe exit assist is part of that new feature so that when you're getting out of your vehicle the car is sensing if there's coming you know oncoming traffic and passerbys or pedestrians something that's going to be outside your door that could rip your door off or that you could hit so it's actually going to be sensing for that i believe there's a way to manually override that um we've got the pri privacy glass on the rear windows and then ultraviolet and infrared cutting acoustic glass front windshield and front side glass so what that means is that your windshield is sound dampened so are the um windows on the driver's side and the passenger side it it absorbs or reflects the sound so it's a little quieter in the cabin and it um, cuts out the uv radiation and the infrared light okay we all know that it has the blade style rear led light bar that's brand new for the 2022 also the lexus nameplate on the rear and the spoiler let's see what else power adjustable mirrors we already had that aluminum roof rails we already had that and the intermittent front wipers so all standard okay going into the audio the Lexus interface system Gen 12 with a 9.8 inch high resolution touchscreen display. So I've said this in the other videos, but if I didn't know there was a bigger screen available, I think the 9.8 inch screen looks great and it's plenty. But if you get a navigation package, you're going to get the 14 inch screen. But I do like how they made it look just fine with the 9.8 inch. Also, Gen 12 um, is going to be a newer operating system for the Lexus, um, you know, software and I'm in, I'm excited to see all the differences on that. Okay, next is the 10 speaker Lexus premium audio system. That's standard. We have a USB A and a USB C port in the front and then two USB C ports in the rear. Also, we have driver profiles up to three for both multimedia settings, favorites and vehicle memory settings. So what that says to me is that 
for even your radio and the things that you save over there, you're gonna actually have driver profiles. So that'll be kind of nice because right now you have memory seats optional on the NX, but you know, the radio stations, they all stay the same. So here's a, this, this is gonna be interesting to see when it comes out. Okay, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android auto capabilities, compatibility. So right now you have to plug in the phone to get to the Apple CarPlay screen. Now you're gonna be able to do it wirelessly. All right, um, integrated streaming with Apple Music and Amazon Music. What that means is that inside your car, if you don't have your phone connected, you don't have your phone plugged in, you will still have Apple Music or Amazon Music on the screen on your car. So it's gonna be integrated into the car. It's, gonna be, it's just gonna be one of the options, just like XM Radio. But you'll have to have a, an, an account and be able to log into that. Okay. Intelligent assist with Hey Lexus wake feature. I like this because right now on the steering wheel, you have to press the voice recognition button to say, make the temperature 67 degrees or tune the radio station. But now you can just say, Hey Lexus. So I can be driving more comfortably like this instead of having to move my hand. I mean, it's a little thing, but it's kind of cool that it's in your car. Just like, it's just works just like Hey Siri and it works just like Alexa. Okay. Uh, we got the Bluetooth technology, of course, XM radio, HD radio. Uh, we also have a Wi-Fi hotspot and over the air update capability. So what that means is that it's capable of updating itself with software and with the navigation automatically through the cloud. And then we have the e owner's manual. Perfect climate. Okay. Uh, we already had dual climate. It's got a dust and pollen filter, nano atom ionizer system. And then the second row has climate control vents. So I don't know if that means just the flow or if there's actually temperature, it looks like climate control sounds like temperature to me. So that would be a new thing for the, uh, 2022, uh, rear defogger with timer. Okay. Trim. Okay. So the new Lux seating is going to be standard leather trim steering wheel and also the shift knob is leather stippled black interior trim i'm going to show you what that is on my other page here also manual tilt and telescoping steering column that's standard so you have to upgrade to get the power telescoping and tilting wheel the digital latch we already talked about that we have the center console here stainless steel front door scuff plates Let's see here, auto dimming rear view mirror. So I believe that was an extra on the 2021 NX, but now it's standard to have the rear, the rear view mirror and the side mirrors are gonna dim. They turn a little bit blue at night and that just kind of is a nice convenient feature to have. And now it's standard. Also your garage door openers, your home link, that's standard. And we have the three-way rear cargo deck board. So what that means is in the back, actually underneath the carpet, there's gonna be a board that is a trifold. And what you do is you, un you can roll it up and underneath it is a little bit of shallow storage. So um, that, that's kind of a nice feature that's not on the 2021. Right now it's like you have to lift the whole thing and underneath it is the spare tire. So it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. Down here, uh, we've got a 10-way power driver seat. So that has the lumbar, uh, eight way on the passenger side, no lumbar heated front seats is standard. Now. Um, I think that's a really good upgrade. People were surprised to buy, you know, a two or three year old Lexus and some of them didn't have heated seats. And they're like, this is a Lexus. I can't believe it doesn't have heated seats, but now it's standard. And then down here, we've got the safety and security. So Lexus safety system plus 3.0 is a nice upgrade to the 2.0. Um, there's a few things in here that are, are brand new and I'll kind of go down the list here, but PCS that was already available. Pre-collision system, forward collision warning was available already. Automatic emergency braking was available. Pedestrian detection was available. Bicyclist detection in daytime and low light. That was, uh, this is kind of a new and upgrade. Motorcycle detection during the daytime, that's an upgrade. Intersection turning assist, that is going to be, that's an upgrade as well. Um, that's when you're turning left or turning right, it's gonna be sensing if there's pedestrians, if you're crossing the path of like a bike or a person. Um, and then also intersection assistance. So when the vehicle's crossing and you're turning, it's gonna be sensing kind of like out to the side so that you can hit the brakes or it can uh, avoid that collision. 
Okay, emergency steering assist. I believe this is and risk avoidance emergency steering assist. What I think that it means is that when your pre-collision system says brake, it may actually turn the wheel a little bit to avoid the collision. Um, I think it's sensing also what's next to you. So if it's clear, it may turn the car for you. All speed dynamic radar cruise control. We already had that, but curve speed reduction is new. So right now, if you have the all speed cruise control on and you actually start going around a curve, it continues with the same speed and it feels a little bit like, you know, you may, you may go into the next lane because naturally we as drivers will let off the gas a little bit as we go around a curve. So this is going to kind of mimic that. All right. Lane tracing assist. We already have that. Uh, road sign assist already had that. Intelligent high beams had that. Okay. Emergency driving stop system. I'll have to learn more about what that means. All right. Um, other safety features. we got all of these airbags going on right here. We've got high adjusting seat belts. Let's see. Blind spot monitor is standard. That's nice. Rear cross traffic alert. We had that safe exit assist. We talked about that. That comes with the new handles. Drive start control. Let's see here. Brake assist. That was already available. Okay. Hill start assist control. I think that was available. That's basically when you're on a hill. Sometimes when we let off the gas or let off the brake to drive, it'll actually roll back a little bit. This is going to keep you still and then go. Then we've got the trailer sway control. That wasn't available because I don't think the NX could pull anything. Now we've got that. Plus we have like a trail mode. So in I don't know what that is yet, but it seems like that would be monitoring the all wheel drive system more accurately or closely. You can kind of let it know what kind of, uh, what kind of surface that you're on. Okay. Let's see. You have the safety connect service connect and remote connect. All of those were available. You still have that three year um, complimentary subscription backup camera and the all these were the same okay so that's the standard for the nx 350h so now let's go check out the premium package and the luxury package so in this right here what we want to pay attention to is the codes for the car 9844 is a standard nx 350 hybrid 9845 and 9846 are premium and luxury respectively. <clears throat> There's also these little codes like this, AU, MC. These are codes that I will explain to you more down below, but I have the definitions next to me so I don't have to keep scrolling up and down. All right, so to get the premium package, you have to have either AU, MC and NV or MC and NL or SC. So breaking this down, AU is going to be the, where is it? Here we go. AU is the 10 speaker navigation audio system. So when you get a navigation package, you're going to get different speakers. And so that AU and the NV go together. NV is the 14 inch display. It also has the drive connect. So it's cloud-based navigation system, intelligent virtual assistant. And then we also have the integrated Google points of interest and over the air updates and also an offline mode for, you know, connectivity issues. So a lot of times, like if you're going through a map and you're in a low connectivity issue, your map is not, it's blank. It doesn't know what it's doing. So I believe what this means is going to have a little bit of like a saved map so you can still go, you know, go down the map um, without losing the picture. Okay. Anyway, that's AU and NV. Now MC is the multicolor ambient illumination. So that's another little perk, a little premium feature there where you're gonna get ambient lighting with, um, you can choose different colors. Okay, or the other package that comes on the premium is gonna be the multicolor illum um, illuminated, what did I say? <laughs> uh, multicolor ambient lighting, ambient illumination and the NL, which is the navigation with Mark Levinson. So the Mark Levinson premium surround sound system with navigation means that you're getting the pure play premium surround sound, uh, quantum logic surround technology for precise audio tuning, clarify 2.0 sound processing, a 10 channel DPS amplifier with 1800 watts and 17 high efficiency speakers with a rear under deck mounted 10 inch subwoofer. 17 speakers in an NX with a subwoofer, that's going to be that's going to be a nice sound. 
Okay, so that on the premium or an SC. So that means that you can get no navigation and still have all the premium features, including SC, which is single color ambient illumination. So you don't have to have nav to get the premium or you could have nav or you could have nav with Mark Levinson. Okay, the other things that come with the premium package standard are the power rear door with kick sensor and adjustable height feature, rain sensing wipers, which wasn't, wasn't available on the 2021. Um, you get the moon roof, we get black prism interior trim. So we'll check that out in a little bit. You get heated and ventilated front seats. We have the power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. We have the memory system for the seats and the steering wheel and the side mirrors. And then the parking assist, which is your parking sensors. So that is a really nice premium package in my opinion. I mean, that covers all the basics. Most people will, will go for the premium package. And again, um, you can also do navigation or navigation with Mark Levinson or no navigation. Okay, moving on to the NX350H Luxury. So it requires AU, HL, IL, LR, NL, or PR. So I'm gonna go through those again. AU is that audio system that comes with the navigation, the 10 speaker, Some somehow they're, they're different. So it's a 10 speaker system that comes with navigation. HL, let's break that down real quick. <clears throat> HL is the adaptive front lighting system with, auto, with, a, with dynamic auto leveling. IL is going to be the premium triple beam LED headlamps with dynamic auto leveling. And then we have the LR, which is the moonroof with the luxury package, power tilt and slide moonroof with one touch open close and sliding sunshade. And an L is the Mark Levinson with navigation or PR, which is going to be your panoramic moonroof. So it seems like the luxury requires at least one of those things and it probably comes with more of those things. So let's dive in real quick. Okay, so building on the premium, we have the power rear door with kick sensor. We have the rain sensing wipers. We have the Lexus memory system and heated and ventilated seats. Now let's go here to the 20 inch wheels. So on a luxury, you're gonna get 20 inch wheels uh, with the silver finish. So that's really nice. You're gonna get the adaptive front lighting system with auto leveling. So that means that's the, uh, HL right there. Then we've got the front door courtesy lamp. So that's going to be like your puddle lamps that shine on the ground when you open the door. That's a really nice feature, especially on a luxury. I mean, that, that goes together. 10 inch color head up display with the steering wheel mounted touch sensor. So that's something that the Lex the NX has never had. It's a 10 inch display that shines on your windshield. So you can basically look through it. It's a hologram and you can tend see your speedometer, your tachometers, sometimes your radio, your navigation, all right on the windshield, keeps your eyes on the road. A uh, nice safety feature there. All right, cloud-based navigation system with 14 inch high resolution touchscreen display. So that is standard on the luxury. So you're definitely getting nav when you get a luxury. It's just up to you or the manufacturer to decide if you're getting the Mark Levinson as well. Okay. Uh, upgraded high resolution multi information display. So that's in between the gauges, the little information display, that's your MID. Then we have the thematic ambient illumination with 14 themes. So that is, I think on the same lines as that MC that we saw up above. Okay, Lexus memory system, that is gonna be standard on building on, I think I already went over that. Excuse me, leather trimmed seats and steering wheel. So before it said it was a new Lux, now it's leather trimmed. Then we have the heat and ventilated from the premium and then black open pour wood trim. I'm gonna show you just like the other ones a little bit further down what that open pour wood looks like, but it's amazing. It's on the IS350 with the dynamic handling package right now. It's like a dark gray color, it's ash wood, it's open pour and it's matte finish. So it just looks like it's so, so stylish. I think it's it's a great thing to add on to this um, NX350 because we never had a wood trim in an NX before this. Okay, uh, we have the power, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which was already premium. And so was this on the premium.
Okay, so that's it for the premium, the luxury, and we already went over the standard features. Now let's go down into the codes so I can teach you a little bit more about some of the options that can come onto these vehicles. Remember our codes for the NX350H are the 9844, 9845, and 9846. So let's go down here. The cold area package is something that like dealerships and the people who order the cars from the manufacturer can add or not add. So Northern cars, they tend to have them more often than the Southern cars, but you can, the way it used to be, you could preference what you wanted and you could say, I want the cold area package. Now, at least at this very moment, we're basically saying to the factories, what are you going to build? And then we just kind of get what we get. So. That being said, let's we can at least learn about what's available or what they're supposed to be available. So the quarter area package includes the heavy duty heater, the heated leather trim steering wheel, and the windshield wiper and de-icer. So we're in the 40s here. So you have to get the um, the premium or the luxury to get the cold area package. It does not come on this on the base model. And then it says heated leather trim steering wheel is not available on the luxury package or the premium it doesn't come on the 350h at all look at that heated steering wheel not on the 350h that's weird let's go back and make sure i'm yeah 350h does not get a heated steering wheel okay going on cold area package there's no f sport on the h so we can skip that rear seat package requires a uh, luxury so 350h luxury that would be a 60 40 split folding rear seat and a second row outboard heated seats moonroof with the luxury package obviously that's going to require the luxury that's the power tilt and slide moonroof with one touch open and close and sliding sunshade okay no f sports here's the here's that nl over here that i was talking about mark levinson premium surround sound system with navigation you must have either the the premium or the luxury to get the Mark Levinson. And that was the description that I read to you earlier. Okay, this is be the normal navigation system without the Mark Levinson sound system, NV. Okay, 14 inch display, we already knew that. And then all the features that come with getting navigation. PV, this is a vision package, lane change assist, front cross traffic alert, and panoramic view monitor with underfloor see-through view. This is um, the, the underfloor see-through view. I'm imagining that's sort of like an off-road or trail feature where you get to see what's underneath your vehicle. And you may even have that sort of virtual look through the vehicle to see the ground, but that's only available on the luxury right here. Okay, smartphone convenience package. This is the one a lot of people have been asking about. Wireless charger, smart access card key, and digital key function functionality via smartphone. So the smart access card key, I love that. It's on the IS350 when you get the dynamic handling package. It looks like a credit card and you can slip it in your wallet or your pocket and it does all the features of your key fob except for obviously it doesn't have buttons. So you can unlock the car, start the car, drive the car with just this card. I love it. It's also on the LS500. Um, maybe on the LC500 and the LX570. Okay, but again, you're gonna need the premium or the luxury to get that package. Rain sensing, intermittent front wipers, that's standard on ours. We already went through that. Oh, no, I'm sorry, rain sensing. I was thinking intermittent period. Okay, rain sensing wipers, that's gonna be available on the standard. It's gonna be available on the premium and the luxury or sorry standard on the premium and luxury okay 10 speaker navigation audio system that's the one that has to come with the navigation digital rear view mirror requires a luxury package 20 inch 10 uh 10 twin spoke aluminum alloy wheels so that requires a premium and it's standard on the luxury Adaptive front lighting system, that's going to be on the luxury. And then the 10 inch color head up display that requires the, um, sorry, the premium at least. Wait, look, 10 inch 
color head up display with digital rear view mirror. Okay, perfect. So that's that's available on the, the premium. Okay, let's go up here. Wait, let me go back up here real quick. I think I might've just discovered something. Tennis display, oh no, it doesn't say digital rear view mirror on the luxury. So I wonder why. Digital rear view mirror. There's where you can get on the luxury. So, but this is the 10 inch head up display that you can get on the premium. Oh, because the head up display is standard on the, got it. The head up display is standard on the luxury but the digital rear view mirror is not. So you just add it by itself. Now, if you're on a premium package, you can add the head up display and it will come with the digital rear view mirror. Thanks for sticking with me while I figured that out. <laughs> All right, premium triple beam LED headlamps with dynamic auto leveling headlamp washers, fog lamps and cornering lamps. You need the luxury package to get that. The multicolor ambient illumination, you're gonna need the premium and the Mark Levinson nav or the regular nav, but it's standard on the luxury. Rear door kicks, rear power rear door with the kick sensor. We already know that's standard on the. It's available on the stand on the standard, but it is standard on the premium and the luxury. The panoramic glass roof with ex external slide function, that requires a luxury to get that. The advanced park with remote park, that's available on the luxury. So that's kind of cool. And then we've got the single ambient illumination. Um, you're gonna get that on the premium. That'd be premium, no nav. And then we've got the power tilt and slide moonroof, standard. on the, what do we say? On the premium and the luxury. Towing prep package, that's, sorry for the F-Sport, towing prep package here. It's um, it's available for, for everybody except for the what, 450H plus. Okay, leather trimmed heated steering wheel. It says WR, so you can get that as a separate package on the 350H. So remember back up here, it said not available right here it's like they're it's like they had to separate it in order to get it onto the 350h so that would be wr for the heated steering wheel on the 350h okay thanks for sticking with me through all of that stuff let's go into colors wheels and interior trims okay eminent white pearl is going to be upcharged as a brief premium paint price atomic silver is actually this box right here and cloudburst gray is this box over here uh, i don't know how they got that switched around but um, this is Atomic Silver and this is Cloudburst Gray. Cloudburst Gray though is an upcharge, 500 bucks for that. And then we've got Caviar Redline, Academium Orange, Nori Green Pearl, Grecian Water Blue, Ultra White, Obsidian, and Ultrasonic Mica Blue. Okay, as you can see, red, orange, green, and Grecian Water do not come with Rioja Red or any of the F-Sport interiors. The only red interior, only blue color you can get with the red interior is gonna be the ultrasonic blue with the circuit red interior. Otherwise, um, the other thing is gonna be ultra white is gonna be on the F-Sports and Eminent White Pearl is gonna be available with all the interiors except for the F-Sport interiors. Um, Atomic and Cloudburst, those are the only colors that actually can do all the interiors because you can see them on F-Sport vehicles. And then over here, we've got, of course, the F-Sport colors. Down here, this is the stippled black interior. That's gonna be standard on the on all of them, NX, 250, 350, and 350H. The black prism is when you upgrade to the premium package. And that is a very nice like geometric shaped plus a little bit darker looks like black prism. And then this is the black open pour, which is on the luxury for the 250, the 350, the 350H. And that's what I was talking about is on the IS350. It looks really good. Okay, down here, these are the standard wheels. And then these would be the upgraded wheels that are standard on the luxury package. 
Here's all the little extras that you can get, like all weather mats, cargo nets, um, illuminated door sills. This one is gonna come on a lot of the luxury packages. That's just the way that dealerships are gonna make them. Um, it's not guaranteed, but a lot of times that's the way it is. And that's something that's added on at the port. So that's really cool. And then we have a little bit more of a breakdown of what's in the Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0. Here is uh, re mentioning again the wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the Apple Music and Amazon Music integration. Here's some pictures. Again, this is the 9.8 inch display that I think looks great, but the 14 inch display looks really good too. So, and also look at the way the layout is when you get the 14 inch. See how the climate is it stretches the whole length over here. The climate is it's kind of it's different. So you can see that it's like squished in there underneath differently. So I don't know. And then down here, he's using the night mode. So there you go, guys. I know it's a lot of information. I think a lot of you have been asking for this, but I'm gonna make one more video for the 450H Plus. I thank, you, I thank you guys for watching my videos and leaving your comments. It really, I really appreciate it. And I hope that this is a lot of good information for you guys. I'm excited to get them, get the cars in so I can show you the ins and outs of it and maybe zoom in on some of the features that a lot of people maybe have glossed over. But um, I don't have pricing yet. I don't have production dates yet. I'm still waiting. I check it every day. So anyways, if you like what you saw, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see the next videos. But again, this is Jake at Lexus of Cool Springs. Y'all take care.